Hey, comic book community. Long box love affair with a long overdue haul. Uh, it's a mixture of a bunch of different things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, these first are, I, I went to a, a comic shop that had restocked their back issues. Um, I had reached out and said, you know, when do you replenish those? Because I've been there for months and months and months and, and you haven't changed them. And so they restocked and their dollar issues um, and they must know what they have. So they picked through them and they didn't have a whole lot of momentous uh, things. Um, so uh, I'm, I see I'm missing one issue. So let me grab, go grab that. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So going through this, uh, the boxes, I found What If uh, Spider-Man Married the Black Cat, just a different book. I found a couple of annuals from Amazing Spider-Man that I need to complete my collection. Number 24 and 23. I found a cool white cover for the fourth printing of God Country, number one. And I found number six. I haven't read this yet. I bought it over, uh, bought the first issue at Baltimore Comic Con in September. Spidey fan was good enough to send me a bunch. I need to read those. I've been holding on to those. And then I bought uh, two copies of Seven for Eternity number two and Sensational She-Hulk number 34. Uh, this one is one that people seem to be picking up uh, quite a bit whenever they find it. They were a buck. Um, this one is not in the most fabulous condition that I was hoping for. It's got some uh, cover creases. I just I didn't catch that when I picked it up. Um, but both of these, I've, I've decided to start trying to sell some things on eBay. Um, not the uh, stuff that I am, uh, my diehard collection, but just some things that, um, you know, I think sell if I find some good deals and try to pass those along. Uh, so I put both of these up to see uh, if there's any interest um, with that. So uh, this weekend, so I'm kind of going all over the place, so bear with me. This weekend I went to a con and only picked up four issues. Um, saw Rag 718. We talked a little bit about comics. I may have talked him out of buying an expensive Walking Dead issue, uh, but hopefully he finds it cheaper somewhere else. And then um, he and I were talking about some amazing Spider-Mans that I was looking at buying, and I think he talked me out of buying some of those. I'm going to hold off. I might actually find some better deals on eBay, although I do want to support the local guys. Um, so this, I only bought one, uh, this batch at one booth, and it was mostly cover price stuff. So um, this issue of Phoenix uh, Resurrection I hadn't picked up. It sold out, um, and I couldn't find the variant cover for it, this, this cover, so I'm just glad to find that. Um, the Black and White of Spawn 282. The, I guess this is the first appearance of Black Mirror. Um, is that Cyan? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Super cool Joe Jusco cover of Thanos, number four. And this one was seven bucks, but uh, it's got that distressed look. And then this next book made it all worth it for me because for 10 bucks, uh, I haven't been able to find this anywhere. X-Men 11, Silver Background, Pressman Variant. These were in video games, I believe. I remember I, I bought, um, actually, I, I, I pulled it out of a video game, or not a video game, a, a, a board game. Uh, I pulled it off, out of, I pulled a Ultimate... Our Uncanny X-Men 304, the one where Il Ileana dies. I pulled that out of a, a game box when I was a kid in Walmart, and I tried to buy it. I think I did buy it. Um, so uh, this one's good, and it's actually in pretty decent condition. Um, only a few spine ticks, really crisp copy, and killer Jim Lee art. It'd be cool to get him to sign this. So uh, just a cool variant cover that is hard to find. So that made that con worth it. Uh, next up, so... Midtown Comics had a sale. They had 50% off their variants. So I picked up this cover I've been dying to find. Astonishing X-Men number four, is it? Oh, three. Number three, Psylocke, the Simon Bianchi cover. Uh, just super sweet. Shadow King, Psylocke. I love the Shadow King for some reason. Um, it's in this cool Mylar, so I need to... Um, uh, transfer it over, but just a cool cover. And then the other book I bought, I had been eyeing, and you know I love Jim Lee, so this super cool incentive variant for uh, Justice League 12, the sketch cover of uh, him and Wonder Woman making out. So um, just really cool, and these were half off. Next book, 
Thanks for bearing with me. Um, trying to go through them semi-fast. This book was on my wish list on Instagram. And if you don't follow me, it's Lombok's Love Affair, all one word. And um, this other Instagrammer had this book up for sale and was asking for deal, um, you know, offers. Didn't know what to, what to uh, offer, so I, I started low. We eventually got in the middle. Um, I've been looking for this forever, and those of you that know me, I like those hard-to-find books, those that not everyone has. Wolverine Origins 10. Third Claw variant. That's the variant part of it. Really great condition. It's got not a color break because it's white, but just like a little spine and dent. So not, not awful at all. Cool Joe Casada cover. This is something I would probably definitely send to CGC, press it. Um, I don't even think I want a signature on this because it's just a cool white cover. And it's super hard to find. So it's first Dakin, Wolverine's son. Um, been looking for this for a long time. It's actually one of my top nine that I was looking for. So I'm X that out. Found it. Um, got a pretty good deal on it too. And it's in really great condition. Um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, uh, and I just need to thank J. Rod Ham and Rag718 for some moral support. I was texting with you two about this and I think I sent you a picture of it and you both um, gave me some good advice and uh, support so I appreciate that so this is the book alive and well in my possession excited about that another book I bought probably uh, at too high a price is this Phoenix Resurrection 1 variant, the Art Adams. I saw this as in the promo materials I was like I need that cover no matter what so um, so I bought it at Comic Exposure. It took forever to get to me, um, only to realize I could probably have bought it cheaper elsewhere. Um, so lesson learned there, but super cool cover. I just wanted to make sure I got it in case it in inflated. Um, it didn't, but I'm excited to have it. Um, so two books from a comic shop. They were five bucks each, just variant covers. So Will Sportacio, uh, Uncanny, Uncanny X-Men number six. Uh, just a cover I'd never seen until he put it on his Instagram. Um, been looking at that a lot lately. And then an astonishing X-Men number one. I think this is a Dale Keowen variant. I'm going to butcher his name. Uh, Shadow King, cool villain cover. Um, so they had some awesome covers for the first issue of Astonishing X-Men. I have so many of these. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, so near the end here. Uh, just got, I gotta put this away. I've already shown this, but it's my back row adventures number one that Bruce Tim didn't sign. Boo hoo. Um, anyway, if you want that story, go see my DC and DC video. Um, so the last books are um, something I got uh, mail ordered to me. I bought them in November uh, over Thanksgiving break, and they are from the J. Scott Campbell store. So I opted for the unsigned versions because, like I was saying, I prefer to get signatures in person, if at all possible. So I'm a big Gene Gray fan, so I bought the bundle. So he took the Phoenix Resurrection. And I love or hate this. I think his, his coloring on this is awesome. Uh, that's Sabine Rich's coloring. Uh, and his, his characters are awesome, too. So um, I don't love everything he does. That's my caveat here. But um, Jean Grey is a character that I love, so I wanted to make sure I picked that up. So uh, the nostalgia of the 90s X-Men, the gold team, I think it was. So uh, there's one of them. There's classic Marvel Girl. This is my least favorite. It's the ultimate X-Men. And he has them in Mylar's, but this Mylar's split. I need to redo this. This is a favorite one of mine, the Phoenix. And the shading and the coloring makes it just so, so awesome. So Phoenix, X-Factor. This is all new X-Men. So I guess this is the younger Jean Grey version. New X-Men. This is the Jean Grey that I got reintroduced to. Uh, I went to college and I came back around the Morrison time. Um, when he was revamping the X-Men with Cassandra Nova. Um, 
And so that was when I started having a little bit more disposable income and uh, started buying the X-Men again. So excited about that. And here's another one that I don't really care a whole lot for. So, but it's the Phoenix, Dark Phoenix. So I much prefer the regular Phoenix. But this is a cool cover, and she's got the ribbed costume. Uh, and then he also threw one of these, like, season the greetings posters in. <sighs> Whatever. Um, nice of him to throw a freebie in, but I'd rather a free comic than a, just a random poster. So I'll end with this. Just the exciting haul. Uh, good stuff. Good variant covers. I'm trying not to go on the variant bandwagon too, too much. Uh, but I do love a good piece of artwork. So if I see it and love it, I will probably purchase it. Um, one I haven't been buying a whole lot of is Del Otto, um, but a lot of his stuff is at those exclusive stores and sometimes a little bit more expensive. So I, I've been shying away from that. Um, good or bad, indifferent, whatever. But um, I should probably ramp that up. But uh, that's my haul. I'm excited about that. The J. Scott stuff. I'm definitely excited about the Wolverine and the Justice League, this, this one was, was sweet. And then the one I found this past weekend, this uh, Pressman variant, I've been looking for for all year um, since I became aware of its existence. I, don't, it, I didn't know about it until a year ago. So that's my story. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for all for, all for your support. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, try not to inundate you with videos, but try to, to check those out. To, to post when, when I can. Um, and for other YouTube subscribers and other uh, YouTubers, um, I do my best to keep updated and, and watch your videos. Uh, most of the time I comment, um, uh, but sometimes I don't. Uh, but I, I do get behind because there's just such great content out there. So um, trying to keep up, and uh, I know all of you are probably doing the same. So I'll talk to you all later, and have a good night.